G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, <laughs> I'm Julie. I'm going to do an acrylic pour for you today. I'm going to do a flip cup pour with this big cup. Just the one flip cup. So let's get started. My pouring medium today is my usual pouring medium for my flip cup pours. It's uh, glue and water. That's it. I'm using Elmer's glue all, but you can use any white or even clear uh, craft PVA glue. Just don't use a wood glue. Um, and then, so that's equal parts glue, equal parts water, and then I'm using equal parts pouring medium to equal parts paint. So it's easy, one-to-one -one paint. I'm using the Montmartre, and I've got my favourite colours, my Phoenix colour range. Check out my Phoenix pores if you haven't seen them before, they're these colours. Turquoise, navy, white, sometimes I put white in, sometimes I don't, yellow, red and orange. So... The yellow is a more of a warm yellow than a cool yellow. That's it there. Medium yellow. Um, and then the red is the brilliant red. The orange here is a combination of the yellow and regular orange, which is a little bit bright, so I turn it down with the yellow. The blue is my phthalo blue with a little bit of black in it to darken it to navy. And then the turquoise there is this one. Turquoise. It's an opaque. You can see the little circles coloured in there. So that's an opaque. That's a semi-transparent. That's an opaque. What's this one? Semi-transparent. See the little circles half coloured in? Um, that one. No, the older bottles don't have it. I, I requested them to um, to put it on. So they've done it on the new bottles, but not the, not the older ones. Semi-transparent. So what about the turquoise? Oh yeah, turquoise, done that one. Right, so I'd, I'd like to, I don't like to put two opaques next to each other just because the, they're a bit heavy and the cells can't come through. Righto, for cells, which is what everybody wants, nice round cells, spot on treadmill silicone. This is my preferred one. I'm going to do three drops. I've got 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint. 100 grams just over three ounces in each cup so we'll do three drops I like to do one drop per ounce or one drop per 30 grams give it a good stir you don't want any big blobs of silicone oil in your mix so stir it in well otherwise you get these like big long wormy creatures when you stretch your paint you get a big blob of silicone and it stretches out and looks like a big wormy thing. So I like to stir it in well so that I don't get that. Stirring does not determine how big your cells are going to be. It's the consistency of your paint. Thick paint will give you small cells. Thin paint will give you big cells. And then, of course, if you're going to stretch your paint your cells will grow so it has a lot to do with a few different things the consistency of the paint and how much you're stretching them so that's what we'll do today we've got relatively thin-ish paints i wonder if i can show you the consistency i might not be able to focus very well though it leaves a little mound on a mound Hopefully you can see in there. Don't hold your stick way up here because obviously you're going to get a different mound because there's a lot of um, force on the paint. So just lift it up a little bit. You should get a little mound. Righto, here we go. I'm going to layer, layer upon layer. It's going to be a bit hard to layer because it's such a deep cup. But we'll try. Otherwise, if it sinks, I might just pour down the side. I should get... Uh, no, it's all right. I'm going to try for three layers. If you do that and your paint just sinks straight through, it's probably too thin. But because I can't get any further down, um, I'm just trying to drizzle it in so it sits on top. 
and we'll try as I said for three layers oh, I'm going backwards I've never done that ever in my whole entire life gone backwards I always start here oh my gosh must be having a backwards day today I don't know why I did that I've never done that whoa this one's sinking in I go a bit slower so just <clears throat> take your time with the drizzle don't pour too much in. You want it just to sit lightly on top. So if you pour a lot in, it'll just, you know, go to the bottom. So little bits. Now I'll have to start down here again. There we go. Hopefully I've left enough in there for my last layer. If you don't want to see me layer paints, this is probably a good time to fast forward. And catch up with me when I flip the cup over. I'm hoping I can fit everything in here. Hope so. So as you can see, I've, I've sort of kept the cool colours together and then the warm colours together. They are going to blend, you know, when you flip them over. It's, it's liquid. They're going to blend. I'm going to get shades of green, shades of orange. I just didn't want to put my white next to the red for obvious reasons we'll get pink um the navy and the orange hmm, not sure sometimes you may get like um a brownie tone i'm not going to scrape them out the red seems a bit thicker see how it's kind of leaving a a train on top a ribbon on top I'm not going to scrape them out just in case I don't have room to put my final two colours. Although I do want lots of navy. I've only got two cool colours, the blues, and I've got three of the warm colours, so hopefully they won't take over. Look how full it is! Just work that out right, didn't I? Now I'm not going to be able to flip this cup over. I'm going to have to flip the canvas over. This is a 30 centimetre by 30 centimetre canvas. So 12 inch by 12 inch. And I chose this one because I just wanted to do, do one big flip cup. I haven't used my Phoenix colours for a while and I thought that would be nice to, to go back to them. Revisit these colours. Let's get all that out of the way. Wipe my hands. I've got my corner catcher sitting here, my bit of cardboard that I've just folded. I've got my palette knife to pick up any paint to go on the edge. Of. This is a deep canvas. I could only get, I wanted to get the 30 centimeter squares, but they only had them in the deep canvas, which is a pain. I don't like them that deep. Anyway, that's all I had. All right, it's sitting right across the top. All right, let's see if I can do this. Put that there. And flip it over. Woo! -hoo. Get back in my little lines there. So I put these little lines here so I know where to put the canvas back again so that you're in frame. All righty, so <laughs> there's no point waiting for the paint to run down. It's run down already. It's got nowhere to go. I hope this works. Alrighty, let's do it. I'll have to come back your way a little bit just so that I've got room to flip it over. <clears throat> and we'll see what happens. I don't know whether I'm going to just do a flip or whether I'm going to do a circle, uh, not a circle, a, a swirl. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's just flip this baby over. Okay, <laughs> well, a swirl is what I got because I needed to cover the, needed to cover the area there. So the leftovers I'm just putting on the corners because you always have trouble with your corners so you can use your leftovers for that. Don't put this paint back in the middle. Just use it on the corners, it's going to get tipped off anyway. Ooh, look at that, let's throw that out. Okay. Bring that to the middle a little bit. Wonder what it's going to look like. So these stripy bits I'll, I'll tilt off. Let's torch early. 
and uh, and just see what's going to happen. Hey, let's torch early. I don't normally, but I want big cells this time. So I got my big boy flame flamethrower. Oh, you heard me. He's on command, flaming. All right, here we go. Oh, this turned off. Little circles. Try not to get too many cells. I just made up my pouring medium this morning and I had to give it a good shake, 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 so it might be a little bit frothy. So hopefully I won't get too many little micro bubbles. So torch an area, so you get those tiny little dots. Just wait and see what happens. Don't torch over those again. Just give them some time. Oh, it's very bubbly. Getting lots of little micro bubbles popping up. Probably should have waited, but I'm too impatient. I made up the pouring medium and then I made up the colours and I thought, right, I want to do this. But I should have just walked away actually and come back you know, a few hours later. Because you can see all the little white dots, they're bubbles that have popped. I want to see if I can get some right in there, a few cells right in there. Oh my gosh, just got a whole heap of. <laughs> bubbles should have waited for my bubbles to subside you can see all the little white dots there see that's all the um, all the bubbles that I'm popping that's not cells they're just bubbles all right well maybe I can do this again tomorrow when my pouring medium has had a chance to rest you really do need to make it the day before you really do now I don't know if you can see see on the lines there I don't like, this is why I don't like putting lines in because the the cells attach themselves to the lines and then you get like a line and a cell and a line and a cell. It looks like a big snake has swallowed a possum. <laughs> I'll tip all that off. All right, but the rest of it's looking amazing. Let's see if I can keep my cells. Now we're gonna go really slowly. So I wanna keep my cells. So now that's going off the edge there and that's going off there but you're not getting across there. So this is why you need your corner catcher to stop the paint all flowing off. don't know that I like that <clears throat> corner. I actually should have done that corner last. Mm. <gasps> I don't know if I can go back to it. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. I'll see if I can come back to that corner later on because I don't like that stripy look there. So if you've got enough paint on your surface, you can lose areas that you don't like. Whereas if you haven't got enough, and you have to really stretch everything, that's what I wanted to do take that off and let that flow over so yeah make sure you've got enough paint like all those people that say oh it's such a waste of paint look at all the paint you've lost well yeah it's just part of it you really have to you have to do that you have to have enough on there that you can throw some off the edge all right let's go for this corner here I'm gonna hold my big push pin underneath Get it to the corner. I'm just going to let it go over quickly back. So don't know if I can come back up to this corner or not. <gasps> Look at the colours. Look at the colours. They are amazing. You wouldn't think so at the beginning, hey, when you flip that cup over. Make sure you don't drip anything in the middle of your painting. Take your sticky gloved hands around the side. All right, we've got one more corner to do. Let's go, put that there, hold on to your push pin down here, we'll try and keep as much paint as we can off the edge and back, woohoo, did it, all right, now, now I just need to work on my composition. Because I've just 
been down this side of the canvas closest to me and stretched this side closest to you. The cells closest to you are bigger now because they've stretched more. So what I want to do is I want to take the paint closest to me, back down a little bit to you. I wonder if I can get down there. I don't think I can. I'm not going to risk it. Don't risk it for the biscuit. So yeah, I'm, I'm stretching these ones out that are closer to me and shrinking those ones down a little bit that are closest to you. Now I could possibly take all the paint down there um, but see the area that area there that's this much so for me to get that much paint off these cells up here are going to be stretched that much does that make sense to you do you want all of these cells stretched that much for the sake of that corner no we don't we definitely don't that is gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at my hands. All right. Um, let me just see if I've missed anything. I'm just going to finger paint these because I'm such a grubby mess at the moment. It doesn't matter. Run my finger around the bottom to stop the drips going any further. Put a little bit of blue there. And I need a little bit of red just there. Not used, I don't usually work with these thick edged canvases. Wow, 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 do you love it? Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna get these gloves off, hang on. I'm just gonna take them off over here and put them straight in the bin. Oh my gosh, there we go. That's better. Right, now it's a bit of a shame. The only thing that I could crit critique here, two things, that um, I probably should have done that corner last. Like if there's an area that you, how can I say it? The area that you don't like the most, do last because you can flip it off. See, I did him first, but now I can't get all the way back there. So do the area that you don't like the most um, last. That way you, you can tip all your leftover paint off. I'm going to slow torch a bit there um, and a little bit in there. See if I can get some more cells up now that I've stretched it. They're really oh there's more little white dots so a few of them came up just there there's a few little ones in here little orange ones definitely definitely need to wait if you've just made up your pouring medium and you've shaken the bejesus out of it definitely wait till maybe the next day put a few more there you can just watch them coming up see and there just watch so if you like torch and then just wait because you don't know what's going to happen like don't go overboard with your torching little white dots more bubbles there popping shall we do it again tomorrow with my same pouring medium um, and just see what the difference is because I think you'll be really amazed at the difference it makes when you haven't got um, bubbly pouring medium. I'm going to see if I can get a few cells just in there because that's a bit boring that corner. Alright, so I put a few, I just went like that and there's a few coming up there. Alright, that's it. Put the torch away, woman. I really would have liked to get rid of that, but just pretend it's not there, okay? So we've got some big cells, we've got some smaller ones here. Now these ones that have popped up here, obviously I'm not going to tilt again, so they're going to stay quite small. So if you like having big cells, medium cells, and then these little tiny micro cells, then this is what you do. You torch early, maybe you torch mid-tilt, and then maybe you torch after the tilt again. Um, and that'll give you different sized cells. I just wanted some more there. Oh, look, look at the little yellowy ones popping up. Hello, how are you? Lovely to see you. Look at them. Hello, you're so cute. All right, let me take you down for a close up. It's really pretty. Actually, now that I'm standing on this side, I think these are a bit big. I want to see if I can actually tilt down that way a little bit more. 
like so. I don't really want those big white yellowy cells to go over the edge on your side because once they go over the edge they you know half goes over and half stays and then you end up with long cells but that's what happens on your edges you know they go they run off all right let me get you down for a close-up it's really pretty oops sorry i need to oil that squeaky little turny thing i don't know what it is What's that thing called? See, that's my my camera's up there. Well, it's not even my camera, it's my phone. It sits up there. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. I really love the colours. Definitely want to do it again. Now, there's my little bubbles. See all those little white dots? Those are the bubbles I was talking about, which kind of spoils it. So how about I do it again, I'll leave, the, I'll leave the paint out and we'll do it again. These are the ones that are torched after the tilting, so they're staying nice and small. Doesn't the red look amazing against that blue background? And they've got white rings around them. They're so pretty. And there's those little yellow ones that I was saying hi to that just popped up. And you can see more of a little dot, see all those little white dots, all those bubbles, and I'm sorry I'm going on about it, but I'm just disappointed that I've got all those little white bubbles that have popped. One little caterpillar there, there he is, torched a bit much in the center. I didn't mean to, it's so hard. You know, you try not to over torch, but sometimes it just, it just happens. Don't look at that corner. <laughs> so the cells are quite big because I've torched torched early before I tilted so if you don't want your cells quite so big you can flip your cup over you can tilt maybe half the canvas and then torch or if you want small cells tilt over the whole canvas and then torch and then just tilt a little bit back and forth and you'll get really pretty rounded cells but they won't be very big so have a play, have a practice, see what kind of cell you like. Shoe fly. There's always a fly in my studio. Photo bombing. Right, so there we go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, at, yeah, I'll, I'll do these colours again because they are my favourite colours uh, once the pouring medium has settled. And uh, we'll see what the difference is, okay? See if you can tell the difference. And maybe I'll torch a little bit later I don't know do you guys like the big cells like this or do you prefer the smaller ones hmm we'll see what happens all right thanks for watching you guys love you all stay safe I'll see you for the next video bye for now